Today's business notes are brought to you by Community Bank, the better business bank. Hello, I'm Stacy Smith. And in today's business notes, the stock markets began the month of May on the downside. Investors are again staring at balance sheets and economic reports, and they were reluctant to buy. One of the reasons investors became hesitant is that while Apple registered a slight increase in revenues, the company did not offer guidance about future performance. And investors were also concerned after Amazon reported its first quarter earnings. The company reported higher than expected first quarter sales. However, because of added costs, its net income was down compared to the first quarter last year. Also, the CEO of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, has now been called to testify before Congress over a report in the Wall Street Journal that Amazon used data about independent sellers on its platform to develop competing products. A report by the Institute of Supply Management comes as no surprise. Manufacturing in this country dropped by the sharpest rate in March since the Great Recession nearly a dozen years ago. The ISM also reports the contraction was the fastest in modern times. One of the pork producing plants that had closed is reopening. Smithfield Foods is going to begin producing pork products tomorrow at its packing house in Monmouth, Illinois. And Tyson Foods is going to restart operations at a pork facility in Logansport, Indiana next week. The actions that people are taking to try to protect themselves from the coronavirus means extra profits for a couple of companies. Clorox reports sales of its cleaning products were up 32% compared to the first quarter of last year, and many of its other products also had sales increases. And Colgate Palmolive reports that sales of its home care and personal products were up nearly 9% in the first quarter. Once again, the stock markets register their second straight losing day. Here now are the closing numbers for the day. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down triple digits, losing 622, or 2.5% for the day. The tech-heavy NASDAQ, hit by the Apple and Amazon news, was also down triple digits, losing more than 3%, or 284 points. And the S&P 500 lost nearly 3%, giving up 81 points. And that's today's Business Notes. I'm Stacy Smith.